There we go. Hello and welcome back to The Future of Photography. I'm Chris Marquardt and uh, with me as usual, Adrian, Imar and Jeremiah. I'm still pointing in the wrong direction. <laughs> Which also works really well on the audio. Hi, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? How's everyone? Good. Good. Yeah, good. Midland. Yeah, okay. Uh, you uh, know, suffering through the election still. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is that I, not finished I, yet? No, it's not. <laughs> Just, oh As if God. you didn't know that, Adrian. <laughs> <laughs> I, do you know what yeah. the, for, for days it dominated the uh the bbc news uh and then it just went away and we went back to normal you know so, it just went finished back, as back to boris johnson okay yeah hmm, okay <laughs> <laughs> but it, it it has been remarkably low on the news here as well so um other things i think are, everybody uh, but everybody then you but guys the are US lucky thinks it's because over. here here it's just back and forth between the exploding pandemic which is a nightmare. Mm. And Let's talk photography. Election. How about yes. photography? I agree. So, That's my yeah. respite. My respite and joy is in this in the work. This is so. a bit of a different episode from the other ones because um, I don't know who suggested it. Adrian, did you suggest the uh, pictures? Mm, it might I have been me. Yeah, Blame it on him. Yeah. Don't know. So, yeah. So, so yeah. what we've done is we have um, all four of us have taken a little, well, assignment let's call it um to it's take a challenge us. week a little bit of a doubt no, a challenge but not not like not like something to to win here so it was a challenge it wasn't a challenge <laughs> <laughs> it was <laughs> okay so uh the 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 challenge was take three photos only use your iphone and uh one should be about uh, one should be a selfie one should be about color and the third one action so three topics, three photos, one week. And uh, who was latest to hand in their photos? Who, who, who did oh, that the last me minute because I, That was me because <laughs> I work all week. <laughs> as opposed so to? So I had very little. I had very... Yeah. As opposed to... <laughs> yeah. as opposed to uh, yes, okay, fair point. But uh, no... I, you crammed for exams, right? I, yeah, I, 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 I get very little time between uh, my, my, my day job and my parenting to, to take photographs. So, uh, yeah, I was last to hand mine in. But that's okay. That's okay. Okay, um, who, who spanned... against me. Who spent the shortest time frame taking their three shots? I, I'll... I'll I might win this because. Oh, okay. <laughs> first of all, last minute, of course, I took my photos today, and uh, second, I took them in the span of twelve minutes. Oh, all nice! Three. Oh my god! Wow, super yeah. productive. Uh, yeah, I am my definitely the slowest. The week. Uh, it took me at least yeah. twenty-four hours. Tw okay. Uh, yeah, I just spread them out. So I got I got lucky in the, the actually before we go any further we should say for for those uh, listening on audio to this there is a link in the show notes that says something like at least it will do by the time I've written it or say something like see our photos here right so you can click on that link and and go and see the photos that we're about to talk about um, so uh, I think that that's uh, and I'd like to say that if this was our idea this is not a competition guys okay so I don't want yeah. like uber competitive. <laughs> <laughs> tendencies and personalities to to to, to wreck our, it's our not lovely a little team that we exhibition. Have no. <laughs> there's, and there's no prizes to win, so I think we should be fine. Yeah. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's have a look at the photos. I have um, put well, them. Well, here, why why don't we talk a bit about process first? Okay, that let's they go were back. done on. Uh, I, I believe yeah. we were thinking iPhones and and sort of mobile editing, right? Mm. Yep. Um, so that none of these could be kind of imported into Photoshop and, you know, mucked with. You could do it in Photoshop on the iPhone. So everything is kind of within the iPhone. Some, some of the iPhones that we have used are the new ones and some of them are the older ones, but all of them share a lot of uh, software uh, for all of them. Uh, we all have our favorites. Um, and uh, so we just wanted to see what we could do in a kind of a, sh a short span that was just inspired by certain subjects using tools that are completely commonly available uh, to have fun and to do something surprising and, and in some ways reinvent the kind of expected, right? Is that a good way of putting it? 
I, I think it was, yeah. And um, for, for me, this is actually the past of photography because as we record this, my, my new iPhone 12 Pro Max is due in mm. two days. <laughs> I, I've had the email now to say it's been shipped and it's coming on Monday. But at the moment, it's Saturday. And uh, yeah, so so I I, I, um, I I used the past of photography. So you, you had to You're use the old You're going to be looking for a rematch. Hardware. Yeah, but I don't, do you know what? It's, it's okay it's okay yeah it's okay i'm quite mm. happy with that it's just you need extra lights <laughs> which i enjoy all right um so yeah that was the process i think we only agreed in the course of the week on the details it was more like a spur of the moment thing and then we kind mm. of pulled it all together to, <laughs> to these rules so yeah um, full disclosure so uh in in uh in that spirit let's move over here and um, what I will do is because we have this nice colorful background that is more distracting than anything I'll turn this into gray and here's our projection screen so first photo in the list of photos again I've done a bit of sorting but not too much so let's um, let's see if this uh, comes out well so first photo by Adrian that's your action yes This is my action shot. Yes, um, this 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 actually there's a, the the, mm. the little story. I'll tell a short story behind this. I actually this setup was actually for my self portrait uh, because I you know one of the things I I like to do when you, is just to jot down little notes and try and think things through before I go. Oh, I'm much better at making photographs if I've got if I know what it is that I'm trying to achieve before I start playing with lights and all sorts of stuff like that. So I had this in my mind that I had, um, you know, looking at this picture, uh, this is uh, a picture of my daughter jumping up, essentially photo bombing, although, you know, we're you know, by in a planned kind of a way. Um, but the setup behind her, the mirror on the wall and, and, and things like that actually is, is something that I had thought of for my self portrait. So you'll see that background again in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> um, but this uh, this is the action shot, which it looks great when you do it as a live photo on the phone, because, of course, you, she's up and down like <laughs> like a little bunny. Um, but this is this was the action shot. So this is. Uh, yep, yeah, this is my daughter uh, and shot mm. in in color on my phone uh, as a live photo. Uh, pro tip for shooting anything that moves quickly. Um, go, go into the edit in the in the Apple Photos app and uh you you can pick the frame in the live photo that is the uh the frame that gets displayed when it's not moving um, and that's really useful for when you want to use other apps to edit uh, because when you edit in other apps it will pick up the uh it'll pick up the frame that is the 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 lead frame that the uh, the in the live photo so uh mm -hmm. that's a there's a, a tip for you there um, is the lead frame the last frame typically no it gets, it's about two-thirds of the way through i think is the default um and then what you can do is you can just scrub it from frame to frame uh, when you when you edit the photo you can scrub it from frame to frame uh, and you, where you stop it gives you a little thing to press on that says make key photo or something like that yeah mm -hmm. Um, I mean, if you've got something, if you're editing in something like Hipstamatic, uh, Hipstamatic will edit live photos, so that's fine. Um, uh, but most most apps will only uh, only pick up the keyframe, so uh, that that's how you get this. Um, that's how you get to pick, and you can pick the one that is the one that you want to use. And this is the one. Did that you I want just to shoot use. this with the regular cam camera camera uh, app, the default camera? I did because I wanted the live photo. And and. Uh, but the the colors are very contrasty, or the the image is very contrasty, mm. and and hence the the kind of mid range is kind of fallen away. But I think that between the green and the pink, and then white and mm. gold, it's it's a very kind of minimalist but strong um, color palette there. Well, well, thank you. So part of that is is due to using really old hardware. So there's, there's a couple of lights uh, uh, that are not in frame, obviously, but a couple of lights that are positioned there. Um, and uh, but mostly it was fairly low light in the room at the time. Uh, and uh, so a lot of the some of the aesthetic of this photo has come about through coping with having a pretty rubbishy JPEG to start with. <laughs> uh, but it's been edited i think it's been edited in snapseed i can tell you that it's got some edits i think just in the um in the normal phone app uh and i, I suspect it's also edited in 
might be a little bit of tweaking in darkroom but i can't remember exactly but certainly it's got some snapseed in it because it needed to be it needed selective of editing so so snapseed mm -hmm. is really good at selective editing mm. yeah dark well, room there's is, your action uh, shot that is yeah, my action there's shot. your action yeah. shot okay let's let's yeah. continue because we have uh three six and twelve photos to get through so mm, yeah. Pl um, plenty plenty <clears throat> shall we just go action to action and then revisit here's an action shot sort of I've, that's, that's how I sorted them <laughs> by topic. So, Ima, your action shot. Action shot. That challenged me because that's kind of not what I genuinely kind of try to do. So I didn't actually think of the live photos. That was really clever, Adrian. I uh, went to Halide and used the slow shutter. And these are some fairy lights on the wall uh, in my room. Nice. I really oh. like this one. And, I just wiggled the camera, but <laughs> it's, I tried to make shapes, but it didn't work. But I really, I thought, <laughs> tried I thought to write all the little up. dots were gorgeous. And I got a, the, you know, I kind of fell into, I took loads of them. And I didn't do a whole lot to it. I, I did, in Snapseed, I turned up the contrast and I pulled down the shadows. And I think that's pretty much all I, I wonder did. if you should tr try Which stacking is unusual them. for me. Uh, just combining them stacking mm. stacking stacking all of them oh a Actually, bit a bit no, like some some fireworks that. photographers do mm. when they yeah, yeah. take multiple mm. yeah. shots on the uh, same frame and do multiple exposures with, yeah yeah they do look a bit like exactly. fireworks yeah, so yeah I that was that yeah have, I, I think that could be super effective although i do say i really like the negative space in this as well mm. yeah. So mm. it's, uh, I've got enough could, negative yeah. space here black, in black. the US. Next action shot. I'm definitely going to try <laughs> that sad. now. I'm definitely going to. Hmm. Next action shot. This is mine. Um, that's sure. wow. my Computer. video switcher. Laptop. It's a video switcher, oh. um, which yeah. represents what we're doing right here. And that is that's that's action for me. That's something I prepare for and I try to get right. And um, so, yeah, that is. Was just a slow shutter and just move the camera in? Uh, not really. What I did is I shot a live photo and I tried a few times, like pulling back while shooting. And then I uh -huh. did what Adrian did. I, I selected that keyframe out of the ones and, and one was really nicely blurred. Mm. And then I cropped it a little. I think I, I did a square crop. It's only in Apple Photos app. Nothing, no external apps. Just the the defaults. Yeah, I mean, it, it uh, controlling the shutter speed when it, on the uh, iPhone is is really uh, can be very very exciting in terms of just taking drab uh, subject matters and really inst in, you know in installing a, a real <laughs> dynamic to them. It's, then, it's one of the two parameters know. then that you can actually control with the with the recording apps, the shutter speed and the ISO. The um, that's it. The aperture is the aperture is fixed. So yeah. yeah, that's my action shot. And I like I like that. I think it's fun. <laughs> oh, I like. I, I mean, me too. Yeah. Especially as for for people who are not like uh, in the video business, it's going to look like something. It's not really that clear. Uh, it looks like a laptop with some of the keys missing, doesn't it? For, really? For but, me, it's but, for, for it's me, like it's dive it's bombing a, out a window. <laughs> for, for me, it's more like uh, an everyday sight in the corner of my eye. So <laughs> it, it, yeah, and it's Don't the control panel the of the Marquardt Media Empire, isn't it? It so is. It, it is it, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, especially this. <laughs> I, I, mean, I know you like that. this because this is one of your new toys as well, isn't it? But so we should celebrate the fact that you've taken a photo of your new toy as well. It's <laughs> yeah. it's a new toy that is not really being used for what it is made for because it only encodes and records. It doesn't do any switching. That's not what it's there for. Oh, right. But that's so a different a lot story. Of extra, extra but there's extra buttons. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I <laughs> use two it. buttons, three buttons on it. So, <laughs> but that, those things it does really well. Anyway, here's Jeremiah's action shot. <laughs> this is my action <laughs> shot, as you may or may not know. I, like I, I do a daily walk through the through my neighborhood and the canals, and I I, I at least take one picture. Um, and this was uh, I, I shot this with uh, a pinhole app and yeah. um, there's very little manipulation here um, just mm -hmm. a little bit of of uh, downward adjustment in terms of the exposure 
and I only mean like a half a stop. Other than that, uh, it's as it as I not as I saw it. It is a bright yellow, looks like a Japanese um, kind of traffic marker. But I thought this <laughs> looks. And, uh, I, I, it looked like a, a little weird gremlin running across the street. <laughs> did, did you bring that, um, or was it there? No, I, I did, it was literally. I'm walking, and this is why I stopped, saw this, took the picture, and kept walking. This is like there was no manipulation of subject and no manipulation really outside of a, a slight drop and stop. I used the pinhole camera to because that's the camera I was using that day. How big is it? Is he? Oh, maybe a little figure. Three, two and a half feet, uh, which in meters would be less than a meter. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. I, I thought it was um, a toy uh, about this size, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, no, yeah. It's, 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 the scale is really... It, like, there's no scale. Uh, in, Japan, in Japan, yeah. there's these kind of weird character traffic markers all over the place that are kind of cartoony and... This, uh, I, I, I have since noticed it on the, uh, literally it belongs to the house just out of frame or, you know, uh, about 20 feet to the right of the, um, of the image that uh, is in their yard. And uh, there is a sign on it that says, go slow. Ah, okay. So, so but uh, yeah. um, that didn't really interest me. <laughs> I just, I just thought it looked like some kind. Of, what is that? Yeah. Where is he going? What cap is he wearing? So, so, what so is what it feels like. Let me ask you this, Jeremiah, right? Because this is this is an opportunistic shot, isn't it? By the yeah. way you've described it. Um, mm -hmm. If you had been out walking with your Leica, as as you are wont to do, um, mm -hmm. would you have taken this shot, or was it because you had the phone and you were thinking and you were in a different mindset? I definitely would not have taken it with my Leica, um, because I, I I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have seen it in the same way if I'm working with my Leica, um, uh, you know, especially with uh, monochrome. Um, I, I'm, I'm looking for, I would say, more uh, contrast or dynamic range, mm -hmm. sharpness, certainly, though I have been, as, as we know, experimenting with, with uh, Fresnels and, and, um, and pinholes with the Leica. Um, uh, somewhat successfully. I'm trying to get a, an image that I like out of it in black and white that I then take into Photoshop and do some neural coloring with it. But because of the low contrast, I'm having a, it doesn't really read it that well. So it doesn't know how to assign it based on kind of neural logic. It, it, for example, <laughs> It won't read. Photoshop will not read the trees in the or the the yeah the trees or the shrubs in the uh, upper part of the frame as green. It doesn't know what to what to right. assign there. Yeah, so yeah. It generally, <laughs> we'll leave them black. <laughs> so so uh, I'm working on that. I think it'll be kind of funny to kind of back into some neural uh, painting uh, shot on black and white. Just just see how that works. But. Um, to, you know, to go back to your answer, no, it, depending on the camera that I am using, that refocuses my attention and how I see the world. If I was walking around with a four by fives and a tripod slung over my shoulder, I may have stopped and shot this in a you know much different way, kind of um, closer to the ground, formal, you know what I mean? Just as something hyper realistic, but with the like I would not have with the iPhone, it just seemed interesting i don't think i would have taken it with the normal camera but because i was in that pinhole mood and i knew it would abstract so that provoked yeah. that, that for me is of one of the freeing image. things right about using the phone is that you know you you can i don't know i i it's sort of a leading question in a way that i asked you because that's that's it happens for me as well i i take much freer photos much less formal when i when i'm just walking out and about with a phone than i do when i've got a a dedicated camera um it and i, and I find that can be quite freeing creatively just it, i was funny. just curious that was all it's funny adrian mm. i don't i I, uh, I mean that i when i i don't know why i mean i'm not talking about snapshots of the kids and when people are around yeah. even then i i try to kind of formalize my compositions but I, when I go out, if I'm using a specific app or my phone, I really 
try to understand what the dynamic of the app phone combination is. Uh-huh. And then as I, you know, I go through a, you know, a two or three mile walk at the end of every day just to clear my head. Um, and because I'm not directing now because of the pandemic, etc., it it's something that I've not done. It's just this kind of walking meditation. And I always hmm. bring the camera and I always shoot something. But what it is, it's freeing in that um, every day I see new things along the same path over and over again. So it opens up my perceptions and it makes me feel very present and it gives me a lot of joy in that way. So uh, that's in a way the encouragement of photography writ large for people is but to by just the way, who's, who's, who the has the creaky chair? Oh, that's me. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just so excited about conveying this. Well, I, I, I love your little plastic man you've taken a shot of anyway. <laughs> I think it's, and I, I like the pinhole choice. Okay, let's mm, move on really? to the, okay, I have to click here first. Uh, here we go. To the color shots. And this one ah. would be Adrian's. This one would be mine as well, yes. So this one was planned ahead of time. Uh, this one, I was thinking about colors and, uh, I, I've noted, uh, that two colors in my house that go particularly well, are the color of the wall in the den and the color of the guitar. (laughs) (laughs) Um, and so what I was trying to do was to get some sort of, my, my, my original idea was to get a sort of abstract shot uh that 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 showed the color of the guitar and the color of the wall um so this is very much about bringing two colors together the fact that the guitar has gold hardware on it doesn't hurt either i think it's i I prefer it i prefer what that does for this image than if the guitar had had silver hardware on it Uh, that's a very primary color contrast there yeah it, yeah, it is. Yes. It, I mean, and, and, you know, let, let, let's face it. It's not exactly an original color contrast, is it? It's a variation on the <laughs> teal and orange, but, but, but it, it it's, um, it, it's something that I, I thought, you know what, I'm going to set this up. This, these are bright colors, right. And, uh, and I can do something here. I, I, I'd, I'd imagined it would be a little bit more abstract. I was sort of stymied by the fact that it's very difficult to control depth of field on, on a phone. Uh, so there's a bit more detail in it than I wanted. Uh, mm. I I did um, uh, what did I do? I did try it with a, a blur across the whole thing, um, but it took some of the shine out of the colours uh, when I blurred it. So uh, some of the specular highlights are on on the metal in the photo uh, just went when I tried to blur it. So it stayed as it is, and I've just done a little bit of tweaking of depth of field in the app uh, focus. Have you ever tried to focus stack on an iPhone series of images? Uh, I don't. I don't think no. I have actually, because pri- primarily because I'm usually trying to go the other way. <laughs> Are there well, apps that allow you to do that? <laughs> well, well, you can layer them. Sure, you could. Layer, no, no. I mean, like is, if you is, were... there, is there a focus stacking app that will use the camera and and? Kind of well, automate that's that. Great for idea. Not, not Let's to, build I'm, one. <laughs> Let's I'm build one. right now. There isn't. Yeah, I like that idea. That would be a great app for the phone. It it, it would be yes, um, especially mm. uh, probably corner the market in one sweep as well because everybody else is trying to go the other way, aren't they? Everybody else is trying to give you control over a shallow yeah. depth of field on the phone. The problem is that most people take their images uh, handheld on the phone, so it would need to. It would probably need to kind of center the, you know, uh, lose maybe 10 or 15 percent of the frame. A bit, a bit like the live kind of... photos do. When, yeah, when, when, you, you, when you have a live photo and you say, oh, I want a long exposure or I want to loop this, it, it does crop it, doesn't it, so that it can manage, the, you know, to, to keep the, uh, uh, you know, the, it, it manages the the. Did you find and... anything, Chris? Um, no. Uh, well, there are some focus stacking <laughs> apps, but I suppose they are assist they are assistant apps for bigger cameras and focus stacking. Yeah. Uh, okay. Anyway, well, so this one is, and go, anyway, oops. so that one I liked anyway. It's all right. No, sorry, you can go on. It's okay. <laughs> Gorgeous, lovely shot. Yeah, beautiful. I like this one. So, Imar, mm. yours. Mm. Mm. 
colour. It's November. Beautiful. There's not much of it about. <laughs> if we'd have done this a few weeks ago, the trees would have been full of colour. Oh, no, I think the really colour's so nice to have this so, guy. They're so, yeah. you know, just... Uh, this is a be this it, what's nice is the lack of color but the color then that's yeah. in it is is uh yeah. it's just beautiful the um i mean it's it, in a way it's the complete opposite of the previous picture that adrian did right it, it's like not filled with color it's just tiny bits oh. of it <laughs> yeah. um and yeah. uh I, I think it's a great lesson in color minimalism um and of course uh, the abstraction of shooting trees is something that I love. I love it so much. I mean, what you've done is... So you've, you've, that, you've, this is you've, just on my way to work. Yeah, and, and what, you've, what you've done tell, is you've, you've just directed it. attention to the colors by having a shot mm, that is ma yeah. mainly void of color. So... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's very much more subtle use? than mine. Mine was a bit of a slap in the face with color. <laughs> Yours is very subtle, and I like, I like, I like the, I like the balance between the 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 small cluster of color in the top right of the image, uh, and then the house in in the bottom. Yeah, it's sort of for me. It's sort of it, it, it's it, it's a really it's nice Chinese balance takeaway. <laughs> it it frames it feels the Chinese Irish. takeaway. Yeah. Feels Irish. <laughs> an Irish Chinese takeaway. <laughs> so what did you use to shoot it? Um, I used it, just the regular camera uh, in the iPhone. And mm. oh, no, wait, actually, I didn't. I was using Halide all week after the lights were my first success. So I sort of and actually that was I was able to edit them in the raw version as well. All three of them this week, which was nice because that's something I don't normally have. It's a great uh, app. I, it, it went through Snapseed first and then I actually brought it into Hipstamatic. So it's I didn't square it. I left it um, in the orientation that I took it and the little um, the little bleed of white on the edge is from the Hipstamatic combination, can, which I cannot remember. Can you bring in right a photo now. to Hipstamatic? That was me. Sorry. The old hipstamatic. Yeah. You the can. old one. The new one you can. Well, can you not? Oh, because I'm still yeah. on the old yeah. one. And yeah. Oh, the new one oh, you can. not That's a no. shame because I really like that yeah. you can. That's why I, I keep the yeah. old one. I really like that's, that you can for that bring reason. in a photo, yeah. uh, you know, and into hipstamatic and edit it. So yeah. I mean, the, the you know, especially when you need some of the things that you can't get in the in the capture in hipstamatic. So yeah, the the because mm. you know you you've all seen I've bored everybody to death actually with photos of gerbils recently because we got gerbils right <laughs> never so, enough never enough so that's what amazing but you can't you you can't never with, enough with, with a phone you cannot take a single shot of a gerbil because <laughs> they're too quick so you have to use live photos um, and so I really like that you can take live photos in you you can you can take a live photo you can select your keyframe as we were talking about a minute ago and then you can take that into hipstamatic or in fact actually in hipstamatic you can you can edit live photos and it exports them as live photos as well so it'll edit every frame in the live photo you um, just inspired me to do something this <laughs> but way but apparently only apparently only in the old version of hipstamatic hmm. yeah only the old one yeah yeah, I like I like yeah, bringing I really in like uh, I like bringing in photos into the hipstamatic tintype uh, app, which I haven't used for this yeah, love assignment. That. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've done that. Yeah. Anyway, I that this one. let's mm -hmm. move to color number three, Jeremiah. Um, very classical feeling shot. Very classic. Yes, yes, yes. and and uh, um, I thought I would I would just take a shot this is taken uh in my garden um this is with the new iphone 12 um with their standard camera there is no editing nothing this is straight out of the box wow. click and it was as you can see um it was night uh, the whatever yeah, light is I kind of that. coming indirect from the house or you know from the outside mm -hmm. um and uh it compensated it just i i was i that was is stunning right for, so for it's, a it, photo. it really is it looks like it's glowing it's, for a it's photo, a photo and a tech demo at the same time 
it is correct it, what, it, what it reminded me of was the and and you'll know the name for this jeremiah and i don't but in the days of gone with the wind there was a a, a tricolor process for, for Tra- technical technical Techn- three strip yeah. technical yes. three strip thank yeah. you three strip technical yeah. now in the early days of iphonography did anybody have the tiffin filter app ah uh, no, i didn't i am talking I about remember. something that we probably oh disappeared 10 years ago but tiffin the 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 very well-known global brand for filters for cameras and lenses um they had an app in the very early days of iphone photography and they had a three strip color filter in it um uh, and uh you know that and i was like oh that's great and i saw this and that's what i thought of but night makes that yeah and knowing that you shot it at night and it's not just processed to make mm. the sky dark is, is it's uh, also sharp i handheld this mm. at night um, carefully, you know, um, and uh, again, I shot it. I th- I think I shot it in portrait mode. That's maybe I did or maybe I didn't. I I forget. There, there. When you're in portrait mode, it, it you're not you you're unable to use certain kinds of night modes. But I'm I'm mm-hmm. not sure. But uh, literally, I I just took this without any editing, and and I thought that was uh, it blew me away. And so I thought. Mm. this this color should be uh and it 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 looks the way it looks in uh in the camera obviously and it uh, it doesn't feel like it it doesn't seem like there's there's too much overexposure in the red channel which is one of the big let's say diseases of digital cameras they tend to overexpose red pretty readily and then you get all these flat that's because you shoot canon (laughs) <laughs> oh. well, by the way, that. <laughs> well, no, by Ka- the way, Canada or are famous or, for their or heads, Kodachrome or Kodachrome, well, okay, Mr. Then. Film <laughs> Camera. Yeah, well, Ka- so, Ka- um, Canon are famous for the quality of their reds, aren't they? It's a thing. Yes. It's part of the Canon. Look, it wasn't a criticism, Chris. It was just. Uh, it was just <laughs> now, if you, you know, it's your if you end up with a with a completely overexposed red channel, then you'll have just a flat red surface, and that is just not. Yeah. I, and by the way, the flower uh, itself was not a, a version or a pale version of this. It's very close to the actual color of the flower. I was going yeah. to ask you about that because the I wondered whether the, the flower was red because this is, n- the, the, as it's coming through on my screen. The, the, it's a little red orange. Yeah, it's a little bit of orange. In yeah. It, uh, that, that, that's true, true to the color. I mean, obviously, we're dancing about yeah. architecture here because we're all looking at a different. Yes, we but, are. Um, it's, yes. <laughs> it's, uh, a, it's pretty uh, close to, to what it is. Yeah. yeah. Oh, very okay. good. Impressive. So, uh, next wow. color photo is um, it's mine, and it's a uh, it's a mask. <sighs> Sign of the times. A portrait of twenty twenty. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I, looked, I looked around, yeah. and um, I was I was trying a similar approach that uh, Imar did with like a lot of no color, and then the little yeah. bit of color in it would be oh, a bit more pronounced. This is a Scottish tartan mask by a company mm. called Slange, S-L-A-N-J. They sell kilts and things, and they started making masks, and this is one of theirs, and I, I liked it so much, so I got one of them. <laughs> what's in the... And, so and so the, this is this is a shot of your filing cabinets as well, isn't it? So what what's in all those drawers? You've got lots of drawers there, got Chris. You must be yeah. super organized. Um, <laughs> this is... This, <laughs> okay, I... I I moved a lot of things to the side Color-coded. that were in front of it, so I had uh, I, I I could make it seem very organized, but um, no, I'm by far not that organized. But it, it's it's like different fo- photo related things and some envelopes and some uh, tripod stamps, things and stamp, <laughs> stamps. Stamps I don't do stamps involves. anymore, but <laughs> no. But yeah, k- kind of a general uh, the the knickknacks go in there so it's yeah, nice the but colors are so soft and so subtle and the cream on the on the uh, cabinets really i, I turned all the uh, artificial lights light. off yeah. it's just light from the window coming from the side so yeah, yeah. it's very nice and What's it seems bigger than it is of the cabinet yeah, moved to the cream in the tartan like mm-hmm. it's true yeah. there's a similar yes. tone there. yeah i'd noticed that as well actually yeah but the the way i cut it uh, i did this um i cropped it this way on purpose because um, the cabinets end right right and left of the frame and on the top and on the bottom so I wanted to make them seem mm. endless so I, I mm. framed them this way <laughs> like the year like, like, like a ghost 
<laughs> appropriate. <laughs> 20, okay, let's forever. move on to the selfies. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Here's, okay. here's the mirror again. James Bond. Who's this handsome devil on the screen right now? Then? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, uh, well, yes, 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 well spotted. That's your mirror Chris, again. There's, there's the mirror. Yep, yeah. there, yep, there's the mirror. So this is this is the shot I was I was setting up for uh, when uh, when Ellie jumped in, um, which is all good. Mm. Uh, so I was aiming for so so the concept behind this. I thought what I want is a yeah a shot of me looking. Um, uh, not, noble no no i was going pensive no i was going worried <laughs> um chased you look chased looking towards 2021 <laughs> freaked <I'm> out <laughs> yeah well all all of that okay so um clearly i need to work on my acting skills <laughs> Um, none of the above yeah <laughs> no. No. so uh i um i i i just felt like uh i i just a shot of me looking uh perhaps away from the camera perhaps with a not not a, a, a too serious a face in it but not not a big smiley shot either uh and yeah i thought about the background i set up the lights uh so so yeah the, the lighting if you take away all the red stuff i've put on afterwards uh this was actually shot in uh, it's a, a shot in a black and white profile on the phone. So the, um, I'm a big fan. I'm sure I've said this before of the silver tone uh, mm. color color filter that you get in the Apple standard camera. It's built in. It and comes I was, with it. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely mm -hmm. yes and i was shooting yeah. in that um the one of the reasons i like it is that um it pushes well uh, by which i mean you can overexpose your images slightly uh and it doesn't it doesn't tend to look horrible in the way that some digital things do um anyway but i'd set up uh, i set up some lights here as you can see uh, you know, to sort of you know, to give give a bit of shape give you know, give a bit of separation uh, and then I got the base photo. The base photo underneath these red filters is actually black and white. Um, I have not edited a color filter here. So any color you can see in this image is actually edited into a black and white, primarily with an app called Lens Flare. Um, and so uh, what I was doing was playing with colored lens flares just to give it a, a bit of a, I, I don't know whether I was going for, you know, a, a, a movie trailer thing or a sci-fi look or, or something like that. Sith Lord. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Beware I, I really what do. lurks outside the frame. Yeah, I really do. Really do need to look to start. Yeah, acting classes, don't I? Um, uh, and just to to have something that had, you know, I, I don't know. Maybe the the idea was maybe a little bit of uh, it would raise a little bit of a question about what was going on. And judging by all your reactions, I think possibly it has. <laughs> So I'm quite happy with that, actually. <laughs> Definitely, yeah. Well, it's yeah. an attention grabber. <laughs> it is. It's bold. Yeah. 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 It's a good, good uh, poster for, you know, guess who's outside horror film. Yeah, it's a, so, it's a zombie He's film. He's back. It's, it's a B, it's <laughs> a B movie zombie, you know, like zombie that. apocalypse a, right. flyer. Yeah. Okay, let's yeah. look at the next one. Emar. Yeah, this is a beautiful picture. That's I, absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> it is. It is really uh, stunning. I think. I left this until the last minute, so that's just sitting at the kitchen table last night. And silver, um, silver tone, uh -huh. uh, which I really like as well, uh, for the contrast. Who did your hair for that? <laughs> the day the wind <laughs> uh, that was just after around. work i was like oh let's just do this and i did make an effort to look at the lens you know as much as adrian's shot was a movie poster uh this is an album cover yep yeah, yeah. <laughs> when oh, i made seriously. my first album it. seriously um <laughs> it is it's either that or it's a French psychological thriller. <laughs> yeah. Just... <laughs> Look at <laughs> Kel's psycho. Oh, like... yeah. Songs, volume three. Yeah. No, I got uh, locked down. <laughs> what did I, I thought of a title for it. I was going to call it um, Locked Down, Locked In, Locked Gaze. Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh. Oh, oh, well. Yeah. Poetic. It's, and, and it has that kind of sorry, Irish sorry. mournful soulfulness that you, I think is <laughs> universal. You, well, today is the 100th anniversary of 
Bloody Sunday. Yeah, so right. um, that that's quite big in all over the place yes. in the media and everything this weekend. So I um, actually spent three hours watching a play that the Abbey put on, oh. which was excellent today. So I, yeah. I shot a commercial at the Abbey. All of that. I was there for a Did month. Yeah. It was fun. I worked there once oh, years yeah. and years ago. I think we I talked about that one time ago. Mm, years ago. All right. So yeah, yeah that's that great. was it. Move on. <laughs> Good choice. Good choice of, of black and white and everything. I like it. Mm, yes. Um, <clears throat> there's Jeremiah's <laughs> pants. Now, nice now pants. I, 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 this is going to sound odd, but I owe a lot of this image to Adrian. And, and I'm, okay. I'm, I'm going to explain why. <laughs> I don't think I own a pair of corduroy pants, but they, uh, <laughs> they're, they're actually uh, very soft uh, Muji Japanese uh, three quarter oh, shorts. Nice. Oh yeah, in, we get, blue we get white, that brand so. over here as well. Yeah, Very so, nice stuff. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, um, but I digress. The the uh, maybe a month or so ago, Adrian had uh, mentioned this um, little tiny clicker that will enable mm. your iPhone to take pictures remotely, so you could hold this little mm. gizmo and mm. shoot pictures with the your camera, in my case, the iPhone here. Um, so this is my first walk with it. And it was it was slung over and I was <laughs> just trying to get it to work. And I realized, oh, you have to actually turn it on. To <laughs> it. <laughs> it doesn't just automatically <laughs> release the shutter of anybody who has an iPhone standing around. Me. So <laughs> I was literally walking and mucking around. The phone was over my shoulder and I was turning it on and grab this picture as the camera swung back. Ah, interesting. Quite by accident. Mm. But upon returning to the studio and just going through my stuff, I went like, I really like this shot. Um, I don't know why. Um, I like, I just like the tonality. It is of me on my walk. Um, but I owe it all to Adrian's kind of um, assessment of what I needed in so, terms of remote photography. How, how did that work out for you elsewhere, though? Are you enjoying working with that? Because that... It, it, <laughs> Yes, I haven't. I haven't. Uh, well, uh, you know, if you want, I'll I'll digress into two quick stories. One, which was wearing the camera like just around my neck and going on the street and snapping it using um, halide or something like that, and getting used to the delay. So I have a lot of people just exiting the frame in my in my pictures, and because I can't keep the the camera exactly stable when I'm walking. It's canted and people leaving the frame. Right. Nothing exciting yet. Mm -hmm. You can make this into so a series. My, my, um, yeah, maybe. you should do. My, my, my self-portraits yeah. were actually taken with my little Bluetooth clicker as well. Um, so, uh, you know, to, say, say you're setting a timer and then running and having to get into position, you can just stay there and you can go click, 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 yeah, and, and go through it all. So, it works. Um, just a, a bit, a bit of a tip there. Yes. So certainly on my one, which is, uh, my Bluetooth shutter uh, is there's a little bit of lag. Using the live photos mode helps yes. with that. I just picked that up from this episode. This ah, was right. a big tip because my second experiment was setting my um, my camera up, just leaning against a book, and I have I have a small kind of white on white. Um, mini studio um, for sort of abstract stuff and stuff that I, I want to photograph in detail. And I've been luring my, it's not very difficult, luring the squirrel who lives on my property, comes into the office and, and he takes some nuts and leaves. But I've been pulling him into that studio and it's all lit and <laughs> trying to get a classic white on white studio shot of a of squirrel. My squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> and obviously, I have like a head coming into frame, the tail leaving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I haven't mastered the timing yet. I've got him in in the or her into this the thing to get her uh, walnut, but I I've not yet mastered this. Yeah. Live so photos. live photos are live the way photos. to go, and um, I hope to present some of that into the showcase <laughs> over the next month. Or, or I mean, alternatively, of course, is is uh, a movie. 
So you shoot 4K. You've got your Dolby Vision 4K now, haven't you, on that ah, new phone? That's true. You see, I so didn't you stick that. that stick that at 60 frames or 120. Actually, you probably can't yeah. get 4K at 120 frames, but um, I can. I can do well. I think live photo would do it. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Anyway, me. that's the selfie. I th- I th- with special <laughs> thanks to Adrian, and uh, it's me mm-hmm. on my daily walk. Cool. Okay, and last but not least, uh, here's mine. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, so the the, the super story super good. The story behind that was um, <laughs> that I was walking around and I was playing with mirrors and. Um, uh-huh. And then I was like, okay, do I do a thought for one? Do I do whatever? And then I ended up <laughs> in front yeah. of that mirror in the bathroom. It's just a little one of these cabinets <laughs> over the sink. And I opened the mirror and then I realized, oh, wait a minute. I can <laughs> I can mirror myself in that mirror. And uh, I played with it with like different angles of the head and stuff. And it was so funny <laughs> to do that, that I ended up <laughs> laughing out loud. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's good. <laughs> and then I took a few... Uh, and that it's a lot was of fun it it was yeah, just it's, really, it's a lot yeah. of wonderful fun too, yeah it's, that way. yeah it's, it's almost it, it it doesn't particularly look like you but it, it, no, but it, it reminds doesn't. me of a sort of cartoon <laughs> character <laughs> Does look like it, it yeah. i can't I'm well for the life of if me, you I cover can't. half of it it does look like him uh yes quite poor you, yes, yes you can't it, do the, that ah <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah anyway that was okay great that was just it's the playing. symmetry that throws us off, and yeah. of course the triangular head. And you, you <laughs> try that, make two selfies, and, and move your head left and right, and uh, it's yeah. I think I will. No, no digital trickery <laughs> involved, no, and no, again, just real, edited real in, edited in the photos app. So nothing special about that. Yeah. Cool. So Good. I think that's it, right? Well, we should have yeah. a wrap up. So who enjoyed that? Because I certainly did. Oh, it was fun. That was yeah, fun. it was good. We have to, was we have good. to do that again yeah. one day, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Three is uh, a lot now for a week. <laughs> three is a lot. I, do you know what? I'm with you, Emma, actually. Three yeah. three was a challenge for me. Um, one, is, three was a challenge. one is plenty, you know. One is, it, one is good, yeah. No, three was fun. 12 minutes and done, you know. I spent a bit more time <laughs> editing them, but in to- total, maybe half yeah, an hour or so. True. Yeah. Yeah, mm. challenge. Wild rodents. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. That, no, that's, thank you. That's a difficult one I'll for you. I'll pass here. on that one. <laughs> so, yeah. do we have okay. any picks of the week? I have a pick. I, I do, actually. Uh, I, I have a pick of the week. And, and I have to say, my, my pick of the week was inspired by Jeremiah's self portrait. Uh, so, um, I'll, I'll have to open them up first. Hold on, hold on. I need to rearrange everything because. That one goes. Oh, of course, because you've yes, we've been sh- sharing all of the the uh, the images we've put, and now we need to get the pics of the week up on the screen. Yeah, yeah, I'm so, I'm I'm so well prepared here, but it, uh... that's okay. So I've I've got two links, uh, but if you could, uh, the the second link is uh, that I've put in the show notes um, uh, for my pick of the week is is the one that we should look at first, um, and uh, it's the Coming one that was in inspired. A it was one that was inspired by Jeremiah's self-portrait. It reminded me. It reminded me of an image that I, I really liked uh, from uh, a couple of years back. I, at least I thought it was a couple of years this back. This is this is my. Oh no, that's Jeremiah's my... link. Yes. Oh, that's Jeremiah's. Okay. Ah. Well, here I'm. I'll 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 talk. I'll talk. Sure, about go for it, it since Jeremiah. it's up. Yeah. And then then we'll go to your. Um, this is uh, the New York Times last week magazine, and I, I hope that it's not a there's not a paywall here. I subscribe to it, so I, I I'm not sure, but it is uh, a, no, an there amazing. Isn't, but there is a limit on how many articles you can watch, so you need to open an incognito window. This, this is a uh, spectacular uh, photographic essay on mm. on the machine of our elections. Um, it, it is uh, beautifully told stories. There's, uh, I think, many photographers, but it is, it's worth uh, studying. It's, it's a book in and of itself. Um, they are, um, they're just staggering in their kind of It's an interesting way of presenting it as well. Mm. Yeah, uh, it's, it's very strong. 
And it kind of leads to some of the things we've been talking about over the last few weeks, which is storytelling in mm. photography. This being it, uh, it does. A current one. It's amazing that the thread that runs through the imagery is, for me, is is the dedication of the, I guess, volunteers who yes. who count the ballots in the election, um, yeah. and you know, in places they're just looking dog tired and in other yeah. places mm. they're looking frantic and you know and you know there's images uh that show enormous piles of stuff still to be done and and you know i felt it, it, even without the words it felt to tell us to you know a collection of photos that genuinely told a story of what it must mm. have been like to be a ballot counter in the recent it, it, election Adrian, it, it starts with the printing of the ballots and the sending out and the mail delivery and the mail pressures and then the balloting and then the counting. I mean, it, it, it is a soup to nuts photo essay that you really don't need to read the words to understand the, the kind of power and dedication of all concerned to try and yeah. salvage our democracy. Mm. Yeah, good. Very, very good pick of the week. Mm. All right, Adrian. This one is yours, right? This one is mine. Okay, so Jeremiah's uh, self-portrait uh, of his leg, right, which uh, reminded me uh, of a photo I saw a few years ago. I thought it was only a couple of years ago. It turns out it was 2012. Um, some of you uh, out there listening or watching may have heard of, a, uh, of an event that happens most years called Gulf Photo Plus. Uh, which I think is uh, often historically held in Dubai, but not always in Dubai. Uh, and it's an opportunity for enthusiast photographers there to go out and spend time with uh, a, a group of internationally renowned photographers uh, and learn a lot. Uh, and one year, 2012, the 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 photographers who, who lead this conference, whatever you want to call it, um, were challenged to take a self-portrait. Um, and uh, what we're looking at here for this first link is, is a self-portrait taken by uh, the photographer Gregory Heisler. Now, you'll notice that he's not actually in the photograph. <laughs> it's a photograph of a, an old style folder camera with, with a hat on it. And it's taken through some horn rim spectacles, mm -hmm. uh, which um, uh, it is a very interesting it, it was an interesting take on the self-portrait but that was the link and then my second link is actually to Heisler's website um we've been taking some self-portraits uh this week um this uh this body of work enormous body of work by Heisler uh is one of my favorite collections of portraiture ever I think um you know he he's he, i mean this even just the stats are crazy he's had something like 70 plus covers of time magazine and so uh, he he re not only is he really good but he's prolific as well <laughs> mm -hmm. um and there's some very very uh, have a look at the website there's some very very famous people uh you know uh, um he, on on the, the front page alone there's two photos of bruce springsteen i mean yeah but, but that's just the start of it he's got political figures he's got cultural figures he's got pop cultural figures you know, all, all sorts of people that he's taken photographs of and and plenty of uh non-famous people as well but go modern go, just... day august sander sorry say again mm. uh, a modern day august sander oh that's a, that's not a name i recognize tell me about that uh he was uh, in you know in many ways gave gave birth to the portraits of Irving Penn and the rest of it but uh, he did he photograph in the 20s ah oh, okay 30s um uh, he set out to take uh, portraits of every person of walk of life you know bakers and you know, miners and, and politicians and whatnot. Uh, his work is, is well worth seeing because it, it stands up today as uh, enormously uh, relevant um, and technically inspiring to a lot of these photographers who, oh, right. okay. who work today. Interesting. Well, you know, every day is a learning day. Uh, but for those of you, if you if you know about of Gregory Heisler, go check it, go and refresh your memories. But if you don't, please do go and dive in because it's uh, there's some great stuff in there. OK, and so my here's my pick of the week. I have a physical pick of the week. 
Um, story goes back to five, five, four, five days ago. A friend of mine from um, Argentina sent me photos of old cameras. Um, his grandpa had died like a year ago, and his his grandpa's father and his grandpa were both photographers and had a ton of gear and things and they were finally clearing out his his uh, stuff and distributing cameras to the family and he sent me a I spent like hours sifting through photos and trying to explain to him what which is which he's a bit of a photographer but he doesn't have a lot of like the the film stuff down so uh I told him what what is and what's something that he might want to try to get his hands on because it's cool and then he he brought one up and uh it's an old zeiss econ econta an old little folding camera mm -hmm. um that it's not valuable not really i mean these things go on ebay for maybe 50 bucks or something but um i had to i had to laugh because right next to me is mine and that's the camera, <laughs> and uh, it's it's got this beautiful little folding mechanism that brings out yeah, the lens, they are and lovely, those. Yeah. and it's um, it shoots six by six centimeters, so it's a medium format camera. It's got this little interesting rangefinder mechanism in there, so you can determine the distance of things, but. You do this visually, but it doesn't automatically go on the lens. So now you have to read how far that is, and you have to transfer <laughs> it to the lens, and, <laughs> and, you, have to, yeah, old and you have to right. cock the shutter before you trip the shutter. So it's 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 a little great um, for street photography. Well, it, it's it's a bit too <laughs> a bit too <laughs> no attention kidding. grabbing for street photography, but it's it's one oh, of those so little slow. cameras. And when, and when you're done, you just you just um, you just. Fold, it, fold up. it up and it's really portable and everything and and so, in your so pocket, I, yeah. I sent him within a minute i sent him back a photo of mine and said yep keep that it's fun and i like the pictures that come out of it it has a very certain aesthetic to it um the, me the thing that medium format does is it it will change the way the, the depth of field comes yeah. out i mean it, you have yeah. this this incredibly good control over the depth of field and the shallowness of the background. Everything is um, is fun about this camera. So uh, often when I want to go and just shoot a roll of film, that would be one of the cameras that I would go for. So that's my pick mm. of the week. Mm. And we have right. one last pick of the week by Imar. A little bit nerdy. I'm sure these are everywhere. I just chose the National Library of Ireland for obvious reasons. But the commons, um, it's just I I'm, I just love looking at old photographs and um, beautiful. Just yesterday, somebody shared a whole bunch of pictures, um, which I don't know the source for, which is why I didn't put them in directly of the Clonmel, which is the town I live in, um, from like the 1890s, and they're phenomenal. Um, I would have loved to share some of those into the, but ones that I'd never seen before. And There's I've seen stereo images as well in here. Yeah, so if you have a viewer, all kinds you of can... everything. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I know there's one at the British Library as well. Um, I'm sure there's tons and tons of these collections. Did they put these up for, um, you know, for people to draw down and, and, uh, and yeah, use? So they come and, you know, it, they're on the domain, commons, right? yeah, Creative mm -hmm. Commons. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's lovely when they do that. Yeah. But uh, they're just fascinating to look at. Yeah. I just anyway, a it's little like, bit nerdy, but again, any photograph that that puts age on it uh, mm -hmm. becomes fascinating in and of itself. Mm. It's especially, especially if you can get a, a time sequence as well. Yeah. So one mm. of the things that I enjoy is seeing pictures of the same you place can kind through of time go and how through it them in collections yeah. as well. If you or you can even maybe search by your location or love that um, picture. Mm. Yeah. So uh, this is just a fascinating collection of photos by the looks. So I could get lost in that, definitely. Good, good choice, Ema. <laughs> okay. we've, all got, we've all gone quiet now because we're all just watching the pictures. I, I, I know what I'm going to do tonight. So, okay. <laughs> all right. Um, wonderful. So I think that concludes today's episode. Um, that was fun. We have to do this again, the whole like assignment yeah, challenge good. kind of thing. Definitely. 
And I, I, I would we I hope we've inspired people too. And yeah, everyone, you can do this as well. Um, maybe and post it on Discord. You know? Join our right. Discord, right? The uh, link is on the yeah. screen right now and in the show notes. Um, we have a showcase channel and we post our pictures there. And maybe you want to do a selfie and a color and an action shot as well and uh, share those with us over on the Discord or on Twitter at TFOPNOW or on Insta at TFOPNOW. And yeah. uh, we'll be back in a week from now with yet another episode. Until then, everyone. <laughs> Take care. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.